Hey guys, welcome to EDC-ish. I have a clothing review for you today. Um, I think it's time that we all admit the obvious. We carry too much shit, guys. Um, I think we do it for a couple of reasons. Um, I think that we like it. I enjoy having two knives on me and a, and a multi-tool and a flashlight and all of that stuff. Um, I also think that there's an element of justifying what we paid for the stuff in having it in our pockets as often as we can. I'm kidding. Not really. Um, <laughs> uh, one of the things that I've arrived at over the last few years is that a good pair of pants with an intelligently, an intelligently laid out array of pockets is a must have. The trade off that you make is that you start kind of moving into the bike cop territory. Um, and, uh, that's a little tricky, unless you find exactly the right pair of pants. Back in October, Triple Lot Design released their first pair of jeans. Um, they're called the Intercept PD Pants. Tad did a really interesting thing with this release in that they kept the garment from being too tactical, um, but still maintained the function that we've grown to appreciate in Tad's offerings. Um, the jeans are made from cone denim, sourced from the, the U.S.'s oldest operating denim mill in North Carolina, as well as 1% elastane. Now, elastane is going to give it some stretch um, and ease of movement. These two materials seamlessly blend the aesthetic of a good pair of jeans with function. Um, I kind of feel like you won't look out of place. Let me move some of this stuff out of here. You won't look out of place at the gun range or in the local coffee shop. That's my opinion. Um, let's talk about fit for a second. Tad says their pants fit true to size. Um, their denim has been what's called saffirized, um, which is kind of a controlled pre-shrinking pre technique that's used to achieve uniformity in a brand sizing. Basically, the jeans aren't supposed to shrink at all. Um, what I found in mine is that tad pants fit too small they fit a little small i wear a 34 inch waist and my pair of um, rs covert pants are too tight so for the jeans i ordered a 36 waist however when they arrived they were too big so i had to decide if i wanted to return them and wait for more to drop so i could order the correct size or if i wanted to try and shrink them to fit i decided to try and shrink them I wash them in hot water and put them in the dryer, and they shrink to a good fit for me. Um, I wear a 3432. They were a little too baggy and a little too long, and they shrank up just right. Not saying that'll work for everybody, but it worked for me. Um, a good thing to keep in mind is that the elastane in the fabric, the stretchy, uh, uh, the stretchy quality, will cause the pockets and stuff to kind of um, lose their rigidity after a while, and the pants to get a little baggy. The cool thing about it is a wash and a dry tightens it back up. So when you notice they're starting to get a little loose, it's time for a wash. Um, let's talk a little bit about pockets. That might be the most uh, critical thing that we have to talk about. Um, let me pivot these around here a little bit. So these jeans, uh, compared to other jeans, have your typical five pocket setup. Two front pockets here, they're nice and deep. You can see my hand comes down to right here on these pockets. And they have um, two rear pockets here. Just a simple, typical jean rear pocket. They also have, I guess this is not the typical five pocket layout, but they also have your watch or coin pocket here. The nice thing about these is they're deep for, a, for actually a good user size. I mean, they'll fit uh, a Swiss Army knife, easily or a Rexford rut easily. It's kind of cool. Um, now where these jeans really sort of move into their own is they have an additional set of pockets here. Um, and these are a pretty full size usable pocket. If you look on Tad's website, they have a, an AR mag jammed in there. Um, for more practical comparison, I would tell you that uh, it will comfortably fit an iPhone 6 or I use it to carry a fixed blade. Um, I have some fixed blades with pocket sheets and I'll slide that in there. It sits above your t-shirt line typically, so nobody really sees that you have it, but it's a nice way to carry a fixed blade. Um, 
The front two pockets have reinforced edges, as you can see right there. Um, this is to prevent uh, quick wear um, when you're clipping and unclipping stuff. It's kind of a cool little thing. I'm going to talk more about that in a second. Um, so durability, I've worn these jeans every day since I got them back in October. And you can see that they've started to get sort of the, the denim fades and stuff like that that you would expect from raw or nearly raw denim. But overall, they've held up really, really well. Um, I've clipped multitudes of tools and knives to the pockets. I've done work. I've sat around. I've worn them in the rain, worn them on hikes, worn them on planes. And they're made fantastically well. I've been let down in the past by expensive jeans. I've bought handmade, selvedge, edge raw denim um, jeans, all of that stuff. And they just don't hold up. They don't stay together. Um, in, in what I use it for. And it, it's not even like quote unquote hard use. I mean, I don't work construction or anything like that. It's just clipping and unclipping tools to the pockets. Um, they, some of the jeans I've had in the past, the pockets will wear through, the crotch will blow out or something like that, or the cuffs would start to give out on the back here. And um, that has not been the case here. As you can see, they do have the reinforced stitching on the pockets. Um, they, all of the in and the out seams on the pants have hidden triple reinforced stitching. You can see that. All of the attachment points have bar tack stitching. So your belt loops stay attached really, really well. And then you can see here, this is the biggest, this is the biggest uh, like example of wear that I can show you. This is my dominant hand. So this is where my knife clips, and you can see that the stitching has started to come out there just from clipping and unclipping a knife. But when you look on the inside, the material hasn't started to separate. Um, I mean, that's great. Most jeans would be falling apart at this point. Um, yeah, on the uh, cuff, you can see that they have stitched in a reinforced panel on the cuff there. So if you step on it and stuff like that, it won't. You can see the, the contrast between the front and the back. It's going to maintain um, the cuff. Let's see. Um, I guess kind of to wrap it up, I mean, I feel like I've kind of gone over everything. I, I love these jeans. They're great. Um, I, I think that they, I mean, I mean, just a point of reference, they've inspired me to pick up a pair of Tad shorts for the coming summer. I'll be reviewing those as well. But I don't think they'll be for everybody. I think there are a handful of things that these jeans have that are going to turn people off. Um, the way a pair of denim jeans fit seems to be a really polarizing issue in today's society. Seems like some people like a pair of finely crafted, well-fitting uh, jeans, while others like to buy um, baggy, loose, wasted, frumpy jeans from Walmart. Um, maybe that's just me. Not everyone is going to like the slightly slimmer fit to these. They're not baggy. They fit really nice and trim. Um, they have a button fly, which not a lot of people like. Or it's, I should say not, not, not a lot of people, but some people don't like a button fly. Um, and I mean, you know, with denim like this, it's a slightly more difficult uh, care uh, of the fabric. I mean, it's not super difficult. You don't have to put these in the freezer or anything like that. But if you did want to keep them dark blue, you wouldn't want to wash them very often. Um, and you want to wash them by themselves because because you know they're over dyed with uh, um, with the the blue. So you know you just it, it's going to take another step or two to take care of them. Um, but if you're opposed to looking like a bite cop when you leave the house and you want to keep a pair of jeans that's not going to tag you as the tactical guy, but you'll still be able to carry all the gear um, that you've come accustomed to, I think these might be the ticket. So, um, I feel a little scatterbrained on this review, but I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions, post them in the comments and I'll answer them. Um, I'm gonna put Triple Out Design's website in the, in the description if you wanna go check them out and maybe pick up a pair. And um, if you're looking for a place to get some gear to fill all the pockets on your new jeans, um, go ahead and hit the Blade HQ link in the description as well. Anything you purchase using my link will directly help support this channel and make it easier for me to bring more reviews to you. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I'm looking forward to your feedback. And if anybody else has these out there, what you think of them, 
And I think that's it. Thanks a lot, guys. Um, I will be seeing you later.